Hey there and welcome to a new video. This is the second video in the series solving SQL screening interview questions. So the basic intent behind this video is to introduce more number of questions in a single video also to introduce a very commonly used format in any data related role SQL interview. So here in this question I have created a table which is the streaming activity table and based on the table we have to solve five question. So solve the question based on streaming activity table that is the question or the basic gist and based on that we are given five different question the first question is to watch time per user that is the watch time per user we have to calculate then we have to find the most watched movie that is which movie has been watched by the highest number of unique users from the given input table the third question is to find average watch duration by genera that is what is the average watch duration in minute for each genera from the given table Fourth question is to find the repeated viewers, which users have watched more than one movie. Then the fifth question is most consistently watched movie, which movie was watched on the most different days. That is the fifth question. All the five questions we have to make use of the streaming activity table and we have to find the output. Here there won't be any expected output given, but you will be only given the question along with a table. Sometimes there won't be even data also, only schema will be given. Based on that, we will have to write the query. So here I have the DDL and DML to create the table. So first we will create the table that is the streaming activity table. It has got activity ID, user ID, movie title, the corresponding genera, watch date and watch duration in minute. First let us create the table, execute and we have that table created. Now we will insert certain data into that particular table using the insert statement. So we'll insert certain data. So six rows affected. So six rows of data has been inserted into that particular table. Now let us query the table before start writing query to obtain the output. We will start with select star from the table. That is the streaming activity table, streaming activity table, execute the select statement. And this is the table which we have now created, which has got activity ID, user ID, movie title, the corresponding genera, then watch date. And what is the watch duration in minute? The first question is to calculate the total watch time for each users. So we have a user ID column and then we have watch duration in minute. So based on the user ID column and watch duration in minute column, we have to find the total duration a particular user has watched. For that, we will modify the same select clause that is select. First column will be user ID. The second column will be sum of open and close parenthesis watch underscore duration underscore minute. That will be the column and this will be total watch time total underscore watch underscore time now we have to write a group by close also here after the from close write a group by group by the same column that is the user id column which we specified in the select close execute and we will be getting the result execute so we have the user id and corresponding total watch time with respect to each user this is the first solution now moving on to the second query. Now we have to find which movie has been watched by the highest number of unique users. So we will query the table once again that is streaming activity table. Here from the given table we have to use the user ID column and the movie title column in order to find the result for the second question. So here we will write select first column will be movie title movie underscore title comma before writing the second expression we will write a from close from the table streaming activity streaming activity and now we will write a aggregate function based on the user id column and count function count open and close parenthesis write a distinct user underscore id which will give us the unique users as unique underscore users. Now we have to write a group by close based on the movie title column. Group by movie underscore title. Now let us execute this query and see what is the result. Execute. And we have a result where we have movie title and unique users. Now we have to find the movie which has been watched by the highest number of unique users. So for two different movie, we are getting highest number of unique users. That is two corresponding to the first movie 
and two corresponding to the fourth movie also now from this result we have to obtain the two movies in the final output so the first query we will place inside a cte with t1 as open and close parenthesis now on to this result we will add a new column that is based on the rank window function we are going to add a new column select star comma use the rank window function open and close parenthesis over we don't want any partition here but only order by close that is order by unique underscore users in descending order will be a rank column we can name the column as flag and this is taken from the cte t1 now execute let us see the result now there is some syntax error it is select execute this once again and we will get the result execute and we have the result where we have obtained movie title unique users and flag but we can see that we should not be using the rank function to get the rank over here because because if the question was to find the movie which was watched the most based on the rank 2 we won't be getting any result here because the rank function is completely skipping the rank 2 and getting rank 3 for the next count of unique users with respect to each movie so here we will use a dense rank function instead of rank that is dense underscore rank now execute and we'll be getting continuous rank starting from 1 then 2 then 3 depending upon the input table so here it will be 1 and 2 now onto this query that is t2s open and close parenthesis select star from t2 write a where close that is where flag equal to one execute and we will be getting the movie which was watched by most number of distinct users execute and these are the two movie which was watched by the most number of distinct users that is the second solution now moving on to the third question we have to find the average watch duration by each genre for that let us query the table once again execute and we have the table and based on the table we have to use the column the genera column and the watch duration in minute column and then we have to find the average watch duration so here select write the first column and write the second column based on the aggregate function that is average open and close parenthesis and the expression will be watch underscore duration underscore hours now this will be it is not hours it will be in minutes column name is in minutes as watch duration that is the average watch duration now we have to write the frame close from the table streaming activity now write a group by close group by group by the column genera now execute this and we will get the record output so we have the corresponding genera and the average watch duration in minute now moving on to the fourth question we have to find the repeated viewers who watched more than one movie so we have to write a select close select from the same table that is the streaming activity table write a star then it is easy for us to identify which all columns we have to use so we have to make use of the user id column and we have to make use of the movie title column then we will get the record output so first user underscore id column then we will count the number of distinct movies count distinct movie title close as movie count movie underscore count and now write a group by close group by user underscore id now write a having close having count of distinct movie underscore title should be greater than one because in the question it is given that user who have watched more than one movie that is greater than one now execute this and we should be getting the result execute and we have the result where we have a user id 201 and 202 who are watching two different movies now moving on to the fifth question which movie was watched on the most different days so for that write a select clause select star from the streaming table execute this and from this table we have to make use of the watch date and movie title column 
so the first column which we require will be movie title underscore title comma and second column will be count of distinct watch date count of distinct watch underscore date as most watched as watch date count we will give the column name as watch date count watch date count now write a group by close group by the column movie title copy the column name paste it here now execute the statement and we will be getting a result based on which we have to write another query in order to get the final output so here we have movie title and watch date count now we have to find which movie was watched on most different days so our final result should be having the record corresponding to id1 and record corresponding to id4 so we will write a ranking function on the result which we have obtained that is with t1 as open and close parenthesis select we require all columns from the t1 cte write a from close from t1 cte now use the dense rank function like we saw in the previous question dense rank open and close parenthesis write an over close inside that specify an order by close order by the watch date count watch underscore date underscore count which should be in descending order and this column should be named as flag execute and we will get a new column that is the flag column now the second query also we will place inside cd that is t2s open and close parenthesis write a select select star from the t2 ct write a where close that is where flag equal one execute and we will be getting the movies which was watched on most different days these are the two movies which were watched on most different days now this is the solution to five different question on the single table that is the streaming activity table there are also different method to solve the same question the ddl and dml to create the table will be available in the description you can copy it from there and create the table if you have interesting solutions please comment the solution it will be helpful for others also also check out our channel for more advanced sql interview questions and other content in sql hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you